start recording and hand over to Professor Bella. Thank you very much for joining us. Okay, Josie, thank you very much for the invitation. I'm, I'm very happy to give, to give this virtual presentation. Welcome everyone, thank you for participating. Uh, yeah, this this is at the moment the normal type of, of meetings we have. I, I would much, I would really prefer to meet you in person or talk to you in person, but unfortunately, it's not 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 possible. So, um, when I was uh, approached by Josie, uh, I proposed I, I think two, probably three different uh, type uh, of talks or titles, and the one. Um, which was chosen basically was, sorry, I have to go back one, so that was already too fast. The one which was chosen was this one, uh, Heterogeneous Catalysis, the Future of Organic Synthesis. I know this is a somewhat provocative title, especially for someone uh, who's a trained synthetic organic chemist like my, myself. But um, as you see, I put a question mark on there and, uh, um, in the end, you can we, we can answer probably the question together, um, uh, how important heterogeneous catalysis can be for the future of organic synthesis. Before I start talking about that, I'd like to um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our our institute very briefly. The for those who know the uh, the LICAT is belongs to one of the German science organization, the Leibniz Society, which was founded after the German unification. Now they, we are not a university, so our, um, our philosophy, our mission is a bit different. We have around 300 um, uh, uh, students and coworkers working in, this, in the institute and we publish around 250 to 300 publications per year and around 100 patents. So um, before going into the details, I, I say this always at the beginning, none of the experiments which you will see, unfortunately, I have to say also on the next slide has done by, was done by myself. So the credit to all this work goes to this group of very, very talented um, uh, young researchers, which I had the pleasure to work with or still have the pleasure to work with. This is a picture from non-corona time. So last summer, if we would do the picture today, it would probably look a little bit different, but uh, you will see also at most of the pictures, at least you will see the, uh, the, the main person uh, responsible also, also for the work. But my thanks go really to, these, uh, to all these coworkers because without that I could not give the presentation you will see now in the next minutes. Um, in today, my group has, I would say, is, is focused on three or four different uh, uh, research areas or topics. One of our main expertise is organometallic synthesis, which you might say has nothing to do with heterogeneous catalysis. Why he's telling that? No, I would say still one third of my group is doing really classical organometallic chemistry. This is some very recent work, has been uh, published, I believe, only two months ago or so. Um, and what we do there is preparing defined organometallic complexes, uh, trying to modify complex and then test them in, in, in various catalytic reactions. So this is definitely one area. Uh, another area which I like very much, and this comes back or ha has the background of my, um, of my training also, that's the development of synthetic methodologies. Um, at the moment, we are relatively active um, developing, let's say, new, novel methodologies for fluorinated compounds. You see a few ex examples here on that screen. I will not talk about that. In, in the presentation because it's a different topic, but it's a topic I would say, which is of interest in, in its own. And um, this is also an area we really like at the moment. And then the third area, which we are uh, where another third of my